What's up guys, if not know me, my name is Drew McCrory and I'm back here with another video today. Um, so in today's video, basically, uh, so I'm filming this after all this has happened. Um, you guys read the thumbnail and the title. So today, uh, well, in this video, I am getting a new 5.2 gallon, uh, tank for two new beta fish. Because I already have my fish Jared here. Um, and we are just getting one more tank and two female bait fish. Because you can't put females together. Um, not males and males. Um, males and females, you know, have bait fish. And then, yeah. Um, but enjoy this video. And, uh, yeah, Jared, send them off. Okay, guys. So, right now, it is weeks before I actually, like get these two beta fish um so intro is filmed way after this but this clip is going just right after the intro in this video but the first step is finding the space of where i'm going to put this fish tank because i'm probably going to get a five gallon fish tank um so we are going to need some room for that and my mom just doesn't like fish. Fish isn't food to her. Um, fish isn't food to me either. It's a pet. But I'd be fine with fish in the kitchen. But my mom is not. So that's why these fish cannot be in the kitchen. But in one second, I will show you guys where the tank actually will be. So we have my room. Uh, here's my bed. And then in here... So here is my fish, Jared, right here. This tank is a 1.6 gallon tank. Came with the filter. I bought these rocks, plants, and another plant. And then from the store, we just had to buy these filter bags. And then we also got the net to scoop them out when we clean the tank. Then we also have the little cleaner. And then most important stuff is the water conditioning. Um... Every time I clean the tank, I put the water conditioner in there. Um, and yeah, this is leaking a little bit. Uh, every water conditioner I have is always leaking. One second. Well, that's not good that this is leaking because this is wood. And as you could tell, those totally different colors. So that is soaked. That is not good at all. <sighs> okay, well. This is totally amazing because I literally used, um, how much is it? Um, I knew this thing felt way lighter because I literally use about, like, I think it's a third of this cap. Um, yeah, a third or two thirds of this cap to put into the water every time I clean the tank. I still had so much left because I've only used this once, and, well, literally almost this whole entire thing leaked out. And I literally, like, just put it in there, like, two weeks ago, and I guess it's been leaking the whole entire time. All that. Completely soaked. Like... I'll show you guys. Before, this was literally almost filled to the brim. And now, look at that. There's, like, barely anything in there. So, I maybe have, like, I don't know, the next, maybe not even two times I clean Jared's tank. That's all I have left. So, that was a total waste of money there. So, guys, never put this stuff upside down. Because the last one I had... Uh, here it is. It was actually in this packet here. It came with it. This also leaked too, so I had to have it in a cup and barely have any of this left either. So that's why I got this one, then this one leaked. So guys, don't put any of the water conditioner stuff upside down. This whole entire thing was closed and somehow it gets out, so that is very unfortunate. But now that my complaining is out of the way, so yes, this stuff is very important. Don't put that on its side. So we're just going to leave that there. And then last thing we have is the fish food. Um, 
I feed Jared two of the pebbles every day. Um, and yeah, so that's the stuff we use for Jared. And again, this is a 1.6 gallon tank. I'm looking at about a five gallon because Jared could use some more room. He could use probably maybe another gallon. Um, but when I got Jared, I did not know a lot about fish. He is about seven months old. I got him when he was about maybe a month old. Yeah, so he's like seven, eight months. Have him for six months. And I, six months ago, I did not know much about fish. So that is why he does not have a bunch of room, but it's fine for his living. But like I've seen beta fish live in way smaller areas. I've seen beta fish live in literally half gallons. So this is okay. And he has like basically acclimated, adopted to this area. Um adapted not adopted drew he has adapted to all this so he is fine now and beta fish actually love plates i literally wake up sometimes and jared is literally just swimming around here because beta fish especially jared they they don't sleep i guess i wake up at 4 30 a.m jared is just swimming around here but when he is not doing this right now he's actually kind of happy and swimming around right now when he is not doing that, he is laying right here in this spot, in this plant. Because beta fish love plants. This is actually a fake plant. Um, but yeah, this tank, I'm going to have some real plants and all that stuff. And you guys will have to wait to see the theme of this new 5-gallon fish tank. But I'm having two new female beta fish. Not in this tank, whole new tank. But now, I will show you guys where the new tank is going to be. So it's step one, finding and cleaning out the spot. Here on my desk that I'm probably, hopefully never gonna use again, here is where the five gallon tank is going to be, where the two new beta fish are gonna be. So I'm going to have four pets, my dog and three total beta fish. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a lot. And as you guys might know, male and male beta fish don't go good together. Um, they fight because they're alpha. Um, male and female beta fish, they have babies, and then the male eats a female, but female and female are okay to live with each other. They live better in packs, but it is four to six beta fish. I am not going to have four to six beta fish. That is a lot to take care of. Maybe in future videos, maybe if I start making some revenue, I can actually afford that, but I will have to have maybe a 25-gallon tank. So we cannot, like, fit that in, um, but yeah. That is where the tank is going to be. Um, so Jared, sorry, I did not know a lot about fish when I got you, um, but yeah, you're going to have to live with that room. And these new beta fish are going to have to live with this room. But what I forgot to mention about Jared. Yes, his name. So his name is Jared. He is a male. And he is actually a rose petal uh, beta. Um, so that's actually what he is. But now we're going to go to Future Drew at the pet store. Um, so I think I will go to like Petco or somewhere to get... Um, most of the decorations so basically for the theme and then at the store where i'm getting the fish is where i'm gonna get all the plants and stuff but let's go um to basically the theme and decoration petco store thing where i'm gonna get all the themes okay guys so never mind it is the next day one day later from that last clip I thought it was literally going to be like weeks until I get these fish, but no, it might happen today. Like, I thought I was just going to have to save the footage for a while, like for maybe about a month or so, but no, it's the next day. So, basically, I whatever the cost is, I'm just going to have my mom pay, and pay her back. Yep, a bunch of those are ones, so I'm, it's like all my money. You know, I'm joking. Um, it's not all my money. But, yeah, so I'm super excited right now. Um, it is about, like, mm, a few hours away. 
so I might not be getting the fish actually today, but I'm getting the whole tank and decorations and everything today because we found, I thought the tank, so for Jared, the tank was like $80, $90. And I was expecting to spend at least, like, $100 on this 5-gallon tank. That Jared's tank was 1.66 gallons. I can't even talk. And this one is 5 gallons. But we are going to get this one at Petco for literally $37. 37 It is literally three. No, it's not three times that, but it's literally, like, two times that. So, this is just, this is unbelievable. Did not think it was going to be happening anytime soon. But yeah, like I said, I might not begin the fish today, but we are getting tank, decorations, everything for the fish, ease, fishes, fish today. Um, but in these next few days, hopefully we'll have the fish today. But I will see you guys when... We are at the pet store. I couldn't stop the clips. I was just like, okay, to the pet store. And I know the transition from the last clips, like yesterday to today, that was bad because I like spun around. Okay, see you at the pet store. Okay, guys, so I said I'll see you guys in the store, but um, we just got back from Petco and the fish store. Uh, got a little sneak peek there. Um, so from the thumbnail and title, you guys know the theme, but first we have to rearrange my room a little bit. We don't have to, but we're going to, um, you guys will see why. Okay, so you guys come into my room. We'll get some light going on in here, but here's where it's going to be. It's still going to be on the desk, but over here we have Jared here. And we're just going to have a divider here. And then the desk there with the two new fish, you guys will see in a little bit. But we are going to rearrange the room, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, so we got everything rearranged. Now it is time to start setting up the tank. Okay, guys, so I just cleaned the rocks. So one way you can do them. So we got way too much because we have this, and that is completely fine. We could add a little more, but we're just going to see. This is a 20-pound bag. We could have had maybe seven and a half pound bag, and it would be perfect. Um, but the method for it is just cut a top, cut a hole here, and then cut a hole down here. I think it, actually, I won't show you because I don't know. That's why I use this. I dumped some of the rocks in here, put one little squirt of soap, washed it out, held it, and drained it. And then we get here. So now that the rocks are in and cleaned, make sure to clean the rocks and the tank. Um, and stuff you're putting inside of it. You guys will get to see what we got in a second. But we are going to fill it up and time lapse. Okay guys, so here's the fun part where we get to decorate everything. So here's some of the stuff we got. Okay. So I think we got full view of the tank here. If not, sorry about that. Um, okay, so first thing we got is this little SpongeBob house. So we are gonna take the tag off there. If we can take the tag off. Oh, and there it goes. Okay. So we got the tag off. Now, SpongeBob, your house is going to be right around here. Just going to kind of put you into there. Um, to me, that looks about perfect. Um, just going to even that out. What do you think about that, Mummy? That's great. Right. And then... So, they were actually sold out of Squidward, um, and we are thinking about getting out of mine, but doesn't look like we're going to have too much room here, so we will probably not have Squidward. Um, sorry to all you Squidward fans out there, but this is what we got to work with. 
And then Krusty Krab is just going to be sitting right there. Oh, how is this going to work? Okay, well, looks like we're going to have to do something different. Actually, hmm. Well, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to go on the Krusty Krab. Well, looks like they can't go on the Krusty Krab. Only SpongeBob's house. Because this is just not working out. Because it's just way too late. Um, well, they're not going to be able to go on the Krusty Krab. That stinks, but... Guess that's what we got. Um, okay, I swear I'm gonna come home from school one day and that thing's just gonna be like knocked down. Um, Cause see how light that is? I barely even touched it. This clip is probably long, huh? Okay. So that's how the Krusty Krab's gonna have to be. Can't really go in it because the fish, they're not like really, really small. Um. Yeah, so now we got this first plant. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit. But yeah. So uh, my first fish here, Jared, as you could tell, he literally almost never leaves that spot. So we got basically the same exact plant. This is a different one, but we got basically the same exact one. So we're gonna put this first one in and. I'll just show you guys after. You're not filming, okay. because I am. <laughs> so guys, we got the first plant in. That's what it looks like. Now we're gonna put in this plant, which is like the same exact one. Actually the same exact one, and we're just gonna put it there. And, okay, so my brother is gonna be here in about 20 minutes. So we got to hurry this up, and then you guys can see the fish. Um, we have a name for one, but not the other, so you guys will see that, but we are going to hurry this up. Okay, guys, are you ready to see the tank? Wow, this thing is amazing, and look, look how many different colors it has. Like, look at that. That's just amazing. Dang, they have, like, disco, look. It's literally going disco. Okay guys, so now it's time for you guys to see the fish. So, our first fish here, it's what she looks like, very pretty. Oh, yep, 899. Um, so this fish's name, duh, is Lily. So guys, say hi to Lily. And then when we were going to get my first fish here, Jared, they have the divider so Jared doesn't go swimming at the glass. So when we first went to get Jared, I won the name Lily, but Jared was a boy. So that's why his name is Jared, or er, Luna. So Jared's name was gonna be Luna. So here is Luna. This is Luna, guys. Um, and yeah, so they're acclimating just a few more minutes now, and then they get to go and explore Bikini Bottom. Okay guys, so it is now time. First, hold on one second, we are now releasing Luna. We just let Luna and Lily acclimate. Here we go. Here you go, Luna. And there she is. Oh my gosh. She looks so tiny versus that whole entire thing. Okay, now it's time to get Lily in here. Okay. And we do have a divider so Jared isn't banging on the glass trying to get to the females. Yeah, Jared. Now, we have Lily. There you go, Lily. Oh, yeah. See, it did just need the more water. Here they go. There they are. Checking out the crusty crab right now. Yeah, sorry, Lily, you can't really get in there. Oh, oh no, she went to the side. So yeah, I guess there's my brother, Tyler. And then there's just Jared in his little area. 
Sorry, Jared, you were a first pick. I saved you from just being at the store. Pretty sure you're going back. Swimming up there. Yeah. So, yeah, now they're just checking it out. Okay, guys, so uh, from Jared and Luna and Lily, um, in this outro, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, go to make sure you subscribe, turn on those post notifications, send them to all so you know every time I upload a new video. Um, so we got this, because, you know, males bang up on the tank. So that's why we have this, but thank you for watching this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.